The years may change, but mega projects will always be in construction. And as time goes on, these massive mega projects just get more and more exciting. From futuristic smart cities to a theme park in Dubai that dwarfs Disney World. On this episode of Build a Billion, here are the most impressive mega projects under construction in 2023. And stay till the end because we save the most impressive for last. If you love to hear about all the mega projects of the world, please subscribe to the channel and help us get to our goal of 500 subscribers. It will really help the channel out. Merdeka 118. Attention, everyone. After recently topping out, Merdeka 118 in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, is officially the second tallest building in the world at 679 meters tall. The building is a symbol of Malaysian independence in every sense, from its design to its name. Its name Merdeka means independence, which is significant because of the country's separation from British rule in 1957. The architecture is even meant to resemble the first Prime Minister of Malaysia, Prime Minister Rahman. Merdeka 118 is second only to Dubai's Burj Khalifa in terms of height, and the 118 in its name refers to its 118 floors. This building will be truly one of our new wonders of the world and is set to open in 2023. Buffalo Bills Stadium The Buffalo Bills actually have a good team these days and they have for a few years now, rewarding the patient fans of Buffalo, New York. The only problem is the fans have to go to their games in an outdated stadium. But lucky for them, plans have been proposed for a new stadium to open in 2026. The current stadium is in Orchard Park right now, 20 minutes away from the city, and the new $1.4 billion stadium will be right across the street, with construction slated to begin in 2023. The project is being funded by a $600 million contribution from New York State, $250 million from Erie County, and $550 million from the Bills and the NFL with all parties involved currently finalizing the agreement at the time of this video. The building will include a retail district, restaurants, parking garages, and even hotels inside the stadium, which is a very exciting step for the future of stadiums in general. Jensen Potash Project This mega project is rare in that it affects literally everyone on Earth. The Jensen Potash Project, led by BHP, is said to become the largest potash producing mine in the world. This mine will provide a rich source of potassium to all of the crops and soil in the world, which in turn improves food production globally. With the population of Earth recently reaching 8 million people, pressure on the agricultural sector increases more and more. But this new state-of-the-art facility in Saskatchewan, Canada, can be the answer to some very stressed farmers' prayers. Potash is a miracle substance that increases water retention in plants, allows crops to yield better results, and can even increase the nutritional value of food we grow from the earth. Dubai Land Is Dubai Land Dubai's Disneyland? Why, yes, very observant of you. But the scale is unbelievable, so let's talk about it, shall we? Did you know that it takes 51 Disneylands to make one Disney World, which is 43 square miles? Well, it takes three Disney Worlds to make one Dubai Land, which will be 129 square miles. Yeah, it's big. Dubai Land is in theory a theme park, but in actuality is an entire entertainment city, like Disney World on steroids. That's kind of Dubai's thing, taking the Western world and putting it on steroids. Dubai Land will have zoos, gardens, hotels, and theme parks, of course, but there's a catch. Dubai Land has been under construction for 20 years now and has a tough track record when it comes to construction and fundraising. But in recent years, major attractions like Legoland Dubai and the Dubai Butterfly Garden have launched, so with its $76 billion budget, it surely can't be too long before we see Dubai Land in full swing. Samsung Semiconductor Factory You may not have heard of them, but the entire modern world depends on semiconductors. Cars, smartphones, computers, telephones, and medical equipment all rely on semiconductors to function, 
and a semiconductor facility will be built right outside Austin, Texas. The Samsung Semiconductor Factory has been slated to start construction in late 2022, and its purpose is to allow the U.S. to join the ranks of semiconductor manufacturers around the globe. 70% of global manufacturing is done in Taiwan and South Korea, but the entire world relies on the technology. America having a factory will lead to faster lead times and fewer disruptions in the supply chain. Costing a staggering $17 billion, this project will be one of the most expensive mega projects in the world for many years. California High Speed Rail The high speed rail has been the subject of huge contention in the state. The rail is supposed to connect major cities in California all the way from San Diego to San Francisco. In 2008, voters approved the rail project and $10 billion was secured. Construction on the rail between Merced and Bakerstown, California is continuing for now, but the rest of the rail has been put on hold as the cost for construction has skyrocketed to $98 billion. Oh, and its projected construction will take 13 years longer than what was originally planned in 2008. The current completion date is set for 2033. Plant Voctel Units 3 and 4 With the addition of Plants 3 and 4, Plant Voctel, located in Waynesboro, Georgia, will become the largest nuclear plant in the U.S. Georgia's huge power plant is currently constructing two units, which are the first units to be built in the United States in more than three decades. Voctel 3 and 4 are both AP1000 designs and will represent two of only six of these builds worldwide. It is currently the largest construction job in Georgia, with its 7,000 workers and 800 jobs that will be available upon its completion. But well, why nuclear power right now? Honestly, the world is consuming power at never before seen rates, and nuclear power offers a zero emission energy source. In addition, it doesn't take a lot of space to build and creates minimal waste. With that being said, more countries may be building more plants again very soon. Once operational, the two new units will be able to power more than 500,000 homes and businesses, with each reactor generating a capacity of 1,250 MWE. Unit 3 has a completion date of first quarter 2023. NEOM Last but not least, we have NEOM, which means new future. This futuristic smart city is currently under construction in Saudi Arabia, north of the Red Sea and by 2030 is hoped to be the home for 1 million people. The first part of this project will be the Line, a vertical smart city with zero carbon emissions. It will consist of three levels and utilize a concept called zero gravity urbanism in its design. Then there's Trojana, which is a luxury snow resort in the mountains that will include skiing, and then there's a host of floating islands. The project's estimated cost is anywhere between 500 billion and 1 trillion dollars which is extremely expensive, but if completed, 40% of the world's population will be able to travel here in under four hours. All the city's needs will be met by renewable resources, but there are of course environmental concerns about its construction. Most people don't even think this can be built at all. I guess we'll see. What do you think about these mega projects under construction in 2023? Let me know in the comments below. I have plenty more videos for you to binge watch, so click that video on the screen to watch something you haven't seen. And thanks for visiting Built a Billion.